my phone battery don't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Peter's House. Don't know anything about it, never played it before. Let's just dive straight in. Steve, the phone rings. Which one's Steve? Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Steve must be the guy moving the boxes. Hi Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? This doesn't seem like a good idea. It's like, hey, I supposedly do this thing. Cool, here's my address. Please come by and don't kill me. Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thank Just hang up, guys, or get a room. Jesus. Oh, well, time to move some boxes. Okay, we get to move some boxes. I love creepy games where we just move boxes. Which boxes? All of these boxes? This one says it must go in the bedroom. Oh, how do I open the bed? This looks like a living room to me. Which one of these is the bedroom? Oh! <gasps> Oh God! Oh, uh, oh! I can't live. I can't leave yet. I need to move these boxes first. One or more boxes. Is that someone with eyes just there? There's a dude standing in the dark corner with glowing eyes. Can you see him? I sure can. Screw all that noise. Is he still out there? Can I see through the windows? Yeah, he's just standing there. That must be Steve. How do I know which bedroom is which? I mean, obviously the bathroom is easy to guess. Oh, this must be the kitchen? It's so small. This must be the dining room. That's a bathroom. This must be the bedroom. Yep, this is the bedroom. Well, gotta keep moving boxes. Okay, I'm just gonna set it right there in the floor. Dining room. I've got boxes for a dining room. Okay, duh. I guess we just set it down right where we're standing. I just need to be smarter about where I'm leaving boxes because leaving them just in the middle of the floor is a tripping hazard. More bedroom boxes. I mean, no offense. But, like, this house is really small. This guy couldn't move these boxes on his own? Baby's bedroom? I didn't know there was a baby's bedroom and a regular bedroom. The oh. Oh, dear. Hold on. Um. This is not normal. Can I turn it off? Get off, TV. What are you even doing here? Totally nothing weird about that. Just went to the baby's room and the TV started haunting me. Living room. This is the easiest job in the world. Kitchen is across from the toilet. Gotta make for some awkward dinner conversations when the guests are in the next room just blasting out their ass. More kitchen. Easy peasy. I know right where the kitchen is. I've already been there. This one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it? Let's just wait a second. Let's just keep delivering all the boxes before we start opening strange boxes. It's not ours to open. That is completely unprofessional. Negative reviews on Yelp. This one doesn't say... Okay, here's another one we should open. Okay, we're going to put all the ones we need to open over here by the door. Everything else we're going to deliver before we break the rules and the law by you know, <laughs> violating this person's uh, privacy... We're going to go ahead and just put all the boxes where they need to go. I mean, that's what we got paid for, isn't it? That's what we got paid for. And we're by, by Jove, we're going to we're gonna do our dadgum job. And then we're going to break the law by going through their uh, personal belongings. <laughs> but all in the pursuit of making sure that the boxes get moved to the appropriate rooms. Uh, another one. Okay, we got three. We got three boxes we get to check out and just do what we want with them. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink before I leave. Hold up, hold up. We got boxes to open. What are you out of your mind? We ain't just gonna leave until we open these boxes. What do we have in here? Uh, it's a journal inside and some glasses. Are we supposed to extrapolate? Oh, the Snoop part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. 4th of February, 2023. 
the Snoop Part 2. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Fourth of February. <laughs> okay. Well, this is somebody's confession box, apparently. This definitely goes in the bedroom. Okay, let's just... Let's just... We're, I think... I hear someone walking. I hear someone walking. I hate... I hate... I hate, I hate. I hate that so goddamn much. Oh, that dude who was obviously standing out there is no longer standing out there. Great. It's it's clearly, clearly it's the owner and he just is waiting for us to open boxes so he has an excuse to kill us. All right, let's check out one of these other boxes, shall we? Oh, another journal and some rings. Okay. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I'd done for her, she had the audacity to suggest we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She cut me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's what she threatened to divorce. Why would that? No, that isn't, that isn't grounds for divorce. That's grounds for calling the police. That is literally what you can do if someone's doing that sort of thing. Call the police and have this sick bastard arrested the death of a marriage i couldn't let her leave me i had to make her understand that i was in control now whenever i look at that ring i'm reminded of how powerful i am great <laughs> so these are the these are just his trophy boxes these are just his trophy boxes i mean uh, sh let's you know what let's put this in the, the here i think i'll just i'll leave this here okay what's gonna happen now what's gonna creepy happen now Oh no, the non-existent light is flickering. Someone's messing with someone's messing with the lights. Stop it, please. I don't deserve this. I'm just doing my job. You literally hired me to do this. Okay, what's in this box? Is it a appendage? It's a bloody knife. The betrayal of a friend part one. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue, but what did it matter? It was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious, when I knew I couldn't take any chances. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let on a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove another person who didn't belong in my world. Great. Killed your best friend. That's a great sign. I'm gonna, huh, this goes in the kitchen because of the knife, right? Okay. What's gonna happen? Should I get a drink of water before I leave? I'm assuming I do that in the kitchen, right? <laughs> you won't mind if I take some of his juice. Was that the sound of the fridge, or was that something else? Okay, I got the juice. I got the scoop. About the snoop. Uh oh the doors are closed. I did not close these doors. Oh, I didn't do this. This one doesn't say... Oh, it's gonna be something of mine, isn't it? Is this real? Frick, it smells horrible! The Vanishing Act, Part 1. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer, so I came up with a plan. I knew that I could just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I, too, was a victim. Then I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident it would work. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs the juice. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Uh-oh, we drink the juice. We drink the juice. Jesus Christ! 
I think I'll just leave this here. Oh, uh, wait, what? What is Uh, this is not the front door. Door is locked. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, who's gonna come running at me from the darkness? Oh. Oh. Good, the lights turn on as I've entered the darkness. I hate this. Who just walks blindly into the darkness like this? Oh boy, and a hallway that ends, a dead end. And now a phone rings with my unfortunate demise. Jesus Christ, I hate it. Why is this guy playing games with me? That's what I wanna know. I can't see. Shit, the lights are, I hope my phone battery don't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my God, I hate that. I freaking hate the sound of pitter pattering feet in the darkness. Where's the freaking phone? Oh, wait, what? Um. Oh. This is the work of a demon. <laughs> this is the work of a demon. Where's the phone? Oh, now there's a. Oh. <gasps> Fucking fuck! Jesus Christ! Okay, you know what? Screw that. I don't even care. Oh, God, I hate this. Peter's house sucks! Uh, I should have turned off the TV. Oh, uh, there's something behind me. Oh, come on. I hate this not being able to see two feet in front of me. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Is it the killer? Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was to just move the damn bunces, not to open them. I mean, he's right. We shouldn't have... Oh, hey. What you doing, pal? Uh, Peter, can we be friends? Oh my god, jeez! Oh, they just shot me. Peter's a gunman. Oh, Peter's house, okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and there you have it, guys, that is Peter's house. Not too bad considering some of the games we've been playing lately. This one kept me on edge. The darkness is always my worst enemy in these games. Peter's kind of a dick, he hired us, but we are breaking the law by violating his privacy and opening his boxes. If we didn't know where they were supposed to go, we should have just left them, then we'd still be alive. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment, and let me know what you guys thought of this little game. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this as well, perhaps subscribe so that you don't miss on future videos. And as always, thank you so very much for watching, you've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.